but... Hey, Liberty Eagles, I know you're wondering how I could have possibly just checked out a library book to myself. One word for you, overdrive. Hey, Liberty Eagles, I experienced quite the conundrum just a minute ago when I realized I had all of the books at my favorite Starbucks. Then I remembered I could check out a Liberty library book using just my phone. One word for you, Liberty Eagles, overdrive. Okay, I'm getting ready to take a cross-country road trip. I have my two favorite dogs in my lap, which means I don't have a hand to use to read a book. Then I remembered I can actually check out an audiobook using my phone and listen to it through my car stereo system. One word for you, Liberty Eagles, overdrive. Hey Eagles, I know you're dying to know what overdrive is and how to access it, so this is a tutorial designed to teach you about overdrive. All right, so you'll notice that I'm on the Google search page, and in the upper right-hand corner, I've already gone ahead and logged myself in. So remember, every student in grades 8 through 12 in the Wentzville School District, as well as staff members, has their own unique Google account. And so you want to make sure you're logged into Google before you go any further. All right, so next I'm going to go to the Wentzville School District homepage. I'm going to go to Departments, and then to Library Services, and I'm going to choose the link for Destiny. So Destiny is our library catalog and there is one available for each school but I'm going to choose Liberty and then you'll notice that underneath electronic resources the last link here is for the WSD Overdrive portal. So this is where I can check out ebooks and audiobooks and there is a clue here or a hint to remind you that your username is your first name, last name, and then the last two digits of your grad year and your password is your WSD number. For staff to log in your username is your first name and last name and your password is your subfinder number. All right, so under please sign in, we're going to select Liberty High School. And then I want to enter that information that I just mentioned to you. And this should take us to a page of new titles. So that's the default. That's what pops up first. But you'll notice there are a variety of different ways to actually search. I can go here to the search bar. I can do an advanced search. You can actually look for books that are um, of a specific reading level, take a look at what's new and most popular. You can also take a look at books by subject. So what I'm going to do first here is click on the View More so that I can see all of the new titles. And we are constantly adding. So just because you might not see something that's interesting to you today doesn't mean that we don't have new titles added maybe by the end of the week. All right, so 93 pages of new titles. That's pretty impressive. So as I scroll down the page here, you'll notice that there are icons in the upper right-hand corners of each of the covers of these books. So I want to explain what that means. So Perfect Lies here has a black book in the right-hand corner. That means that the book is available for checkout. The license hasn't already been used by somebody else. So this book over here, No One Else Can Have You, actually has a grayscale book. And that means someone is currently reading the book, the license is checked out, and so you would have to wait for the book to become available. So you can wait and keep checking or you can simply hover over the cover here and click to where it says place a hold. So that would actually allow you to enter in your email address and then when the book is available you'll get an email that tells you that you can check it out. Alright, as I scroll further down the page here you'll notice that there is a headset icon underneath the book called Fragments. That tells me that the book is available as an audiobook. It's really important that you know that audiobooks through Overdrive don't currently work on Chromebooks. So the only thing that you can do is make sure that you check out ebooks and you actually want to do that in a, a particular format. So over here on the left hand side you'll see limiters and I want to click on the one that says format. So as I click on format I'm looking for Overdrive read format. So this is going to limit the number of titles to um, those that are only available in OverDrive read format. Okay, so then I'm going to browse through and see if any of these look interesting. So let's say this book Dragon's Keep looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click on the title so I can find out more information before I decide to, to actually check it out. So here there is a summary which I can expand if I choose to do that. I can actually take a look at a sample that usually allows me to read maybe a few pages of the, pages of the book up to a chapter to decide if it's something that I really want. You can also take a look at the lending period. So this title currently would be loaned to me for 14 days, but I can change it to 7 if I choose to do that. So after 14 days, the book is automatically returned for me, so I don't incur any fines. 
The only downside to that, though, is if I'm not finished with it, there's no way to renew it. I have to go back in and hope that it's still available for me to check out and no one else has put it on hold. Okay, so let's say I want to go ahead and check out the book. I'm going to click here to where it says borrow. And it's going to open up my account information. So you'll notice I have Harry Potter checked out. But over here, I want to make sure that I actually check out Dragon's Keep. So I want to click to where it says read in your browser. Do not be fooled by this download button over here. That's not what you want to do if you're, if you're trying to check this out on your Chromebook. So click here where it says read in your browser and it should open up a new tab and the book should be available for me to read. All right. So it opened up to the prologue for me, but if I want to actually explore the table of contents or I want to go to a specific part in the book, I simply have to click to wherever I want to go. Also, to change the pages, I can use my left click mouse and that actually turns the pages one by one. All right. One of the buttons that's going to be really important to you is this cloud feature on the right hand side. So if I go ahead and click on the cloud, it takes me down to the bottom to where it gives me the option to download the title. So it usually takes really just a couple of seconds for it to download, and that saves a copy to your computer. Now the reason you might want to do that is because you would be able to access the title even if you didn't have Wi-Fi or you didn't have access to the internet. So what you want to do once you've downloaded the title is to star it and click done and then the next time that you want to access the book you're going to go down to where it says bookmarks and you'll notice at the very bottom is the link to Dragon's Keep. So let's say I wanted to read this book on the bus I didn't have Wi-Fi I could simply open up my computer go to my bookmarks even if I'm offline and it will access the downloaded copy on my computer it should access exactly where I left off so I can just continue to read the book. So pretty cool, right? But something that's even cooler is if you don't carry your Chromebook with you all the time, but you do have a smartphone and you have the Chrome app downloaded to your phone, you can actually log in with the same account information that you used to download the book to your Chromebook and you can access your bookmarks through that app. So if you do that, you should be able again to access the book exactly where you left off and continue to read wherever you are and um, if you download it to your phone, you can also access it if you don't have Wi-Fi or access to the internet. So that's Overdrive Read in a nutshell. I hope you find something through the website or through Overdrive's portal that's really great and interesting to you. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me for help. Look to see you soon in the library.